As an Argonian, can you really breathe underwater indefinitely? That's pretty overpowered. In my case, even as a vampire, I can't stay underwater, at least not for too long. Contrary to what you might think, us vampires, at least daughters of Cold Harbor like me, even as we're undead, or however you put it, we still have regular bodily functions as normal mortals do. Except, we're now sensitive to sunlight, and really just eat blood to sustain ourselves. As a Breton, could you tell me a bit more about your drinking culture? I would like to say that I'm definitely a fan of your craft beers. They give more of an exquisite taste. While I do enjoy the typical pint of Nordmead, after a while it just gets so... Blah. Then why don't we drink one sometime? If we can find them, of course. You... You're not fun. As an Altmer, I know most of you are astute mages. Is that why you produce wine that's so damn good? Sometime back when I was still... mortal, my parents ordered an entire keg of Altmer Golden Pear wine. And yes, I know my parents were... weird. But like any other Nord royalty, they did like their wine. Anyway, what I did next was probably the most stupid and one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. One afternoon, I snuck down into the cellar while everyone was asleep. And I thought, maybe I should have a quick swig of this. And the next thing I knew, I was laying flat on my belly with both my parents yelling at me. I supposedly finished the entire keg. Yes, it was. But getting hungover really isn't. As an Imperial, I must say, your Cyrodiilic brandy is truly something else. I... would rather not say, if that's alright. Well, ugh, just because it's you, I'll make an exception. My mother had to leave the island for some urgent business one day, so I snuck into her laboratory. You know, to create some potions, test out some necromancy, fiddle around with things I really wasn't supposed to. But one thing did catch my eye. That brandy. I didn't really consider why she even had it there. I just decided to take a small sip. It truly tasted like something else. So I decided to finish the entire bottle in one swig. I absolutely loved it. I was already a vampire at this point though, so don't worry. I didn't pass out vomit or anything like that. But when my mother did come home though, she was angry, most definitely. She said it costed a premium and that it was meant to be a token gift to one of the newer members of my father's court. And as a punishment, I got janitorial duties around the castle for the better part of the month. And even as a vampire, to me, that felt like a long time. I've always found it amazing how your morphology is tied into the phases of the moon. From being indistinguishable from a typical house cat to looking just like a plain myrrh. You're welcome, pretty kitty. As a Bosmer, I'd like to say how interesting your culture is. I mean, barring the whole green packed cannibalism thing. Even as a vampire, that would kind of gross me out. You know, just how your culture thrives on living alongside nature, embracing existence in harmony with the flora and fauna. I'm glad, though, that your culture is mostly done away with the Green Pact. Mostly. Other than some religious outliers here and there. As a fellow Nord, what do you think of mead? Like it? Hate it? Couldn't bother? It seems like most of us can't go a single day without it, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. 
glad we're on the same page then. I may have an extraordinarily high tolerance for alcohol, but that doesn't mean I don't like getting drunk. Or at least, trying to. Haven't succeeded, I think, ever, but that's a little life goal of mine. Shame on you. Your ancestors would be most displeased. A Nord who doesn't drink. It's part of your culture. Embrace it. You're not a milk drinker, are you? <laughs> Relax. I'm just kidding. Wouldn't hurt to take a trip to the local inn, though. And not order just a sweet roll. You need to be less boring. Just pick a side. Ugh. So, as an Orismer, are you more elven or beast folk? I read somewhere that you have both Mer and Betmer blood. Oh, I didn't expect that. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Glad to see you're embracing that part of your heritage. Okay then, I... I don't know what I was expecting, asking an orc. Not that I'm trying to demean you or anything. If that's who you are, I think you should embrace it. I do admire your race's fondness for the sea, as pirates, sailors, or adventurers of the open waters. I used to read stories and great tales of Redguard pirates, from the shores of Stros Mackay to the farthest reaches of the Abitian Sea. Especially the daring adventures of Jaik Talonwood. He was a little childhood hero of mine. So what do you say? Would you like to sail the open seas in pursuit of fame and the rarest treasures? I was kind of just playing around, but I like your enthusiasm. Maybe we should set sail for the coasts of Hammerfell sometime. After we're done with everything here in Skyrim. Okay, land adventures it is then. As a Dunmer, what's exactly up with you and your weird drinks? You got Sujama, Grief, Sheehan, Mazde? Besides the weird names, I also heard you put weird ingredients in them. Beetles? I'm not sure if I'm correct about this, but that's just plain you. That doesn't make it any less weird. Point taken, but you don't need to be so harsh. 